right, so I am on step nine and ten. I've been doing some coloring here. Um, just going back up. So this is day three and four where you should be at. And it's creating the main shapes. Um, created a new layer here for the background. Made that. Made some shapes using the pen tool. Created a couple of different colors there. So you can see that happening where I have the blue and the purple and the yellow. And then that gradient from pink to blue. Um, I'm using this as my swatch. So just to let you guys know, if you do right click on this, view more actions, you can save to keep. And then it'll pop up so you can actually save it to your desktop and then use it. So if you didn't know how to do that. Um, but it wants to do this coloring for her skin tone. And then a gradient for her hair. I did not take as much time as I should have using the pen tool for her hair. Because I was rushing through it. Um, so my hair doesn't look that great. But if you guys take some time with this pen tool, you'll be able to do that. And then you can even use the eraser tool to kind of work through and add in some more swirl there. Um, so right now I'm actually on step 10 where I'm working on this fin um, area in step 11. So they want this pinkish gradient happening over here for like this part for her fins. And then this is going to change up to a different gradient. Um, and so what they want for that one is kind of this skin tone down to purplish. But they don't really give you a color that you have to use. Um, but what I can do is select it and then go over here to gradient do edit gradient um let's see so i can use my eyedropper to match up with her skin tone and then pink one I'm going to go and match down here let's see that one's actually the right color so I just need to add one here and that one I'm going to make kind of a purple tone let's see So now I have the gradient that they want for that one. Might even make this one just a little more purple. There we go. Okay. And then using my pen tool, um, layer wise, you can see I'm labeling each one of these different things. Um, but I have her big fin as one or tail, you can label it as tail. Um, and then her other set of fins. So I'm going to use my pen tool and kind of going to go around. Let's see. And then I can use my eyedropper tool to match it. Ooh, there we go. Um, so that it matches more with what's happening there. So theoretically, you want it to kind of blend a little bit better than that. But there we go. I'm not the trying to be the, be the end all be all with this right now. Let's see. A 
blend this in a little bit more. There we go. Then I'm going to do that again with her other fins. Let's see. And I can also lock that, just make sure I don't mess with it. Okay, so that's my rough version of that. You guys obviously can blend that out a lot easier. Take your time on that um, to make sure you actually have smoother transitions when I got it going on. Okay, so the that's going to be the rest for day three and four. And so I started this on my other um, example with you guys. And so that's where we're at. I'll start the next video to start with day five and six for you. Okay, so that should get you through step 12.